Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video, Chris Fishing, and today I'm going to show you guys how to spool a level wine slash conventional reel. So if you already have experience spooling a bait caster reel, this is pretty much the same thing, it's just bigger. Uh, I'm going to be spooling up my Penn Squaw 50 LW with 60 pound test. This is Hurricane Salt Tackle 60 pound. This is 460 yards, but we're only going to be using 285 on the reel. So the first thing before I put line on the rod, well, I I don't have anybody to help me out to put this on. So what I do have, I have a little cardboard box. I don't know if you guys could find something like that. If you have some clamps, I have this little metal rod and I'm going to be putting my spool in through the rod to help me out as I, as I pull in the line. So what you don't want to do when you're reeling it in is keep the spool standing up like that, because if you do reel it in like that, this is just gonna create, it's gonna create tangles and it's just not gonna be good when you're out fishing. You could have a tangle, you could lose a fish and that's something we don't want. So what you do wanna do when you are spooling is you wanna keep it so the line goes under the spool as you're reeling. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. So now with my spool inside the box, and I'm just gonna remove the tape. And what I'm gonna do is feed my line through the eyes all the way till I get to the reel. So now that I've fed my line through the holes, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna feed it in through the eye of the guide, right in there, right through the guide. Then I'm gonna go under the spool and bring it back over, right here. So it's right under, right through the guide right back under the spool. So I can get it right there. Right under. So now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna get a little bit of slack. So I have some line right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie a clinch knot. But before I tie the clinch knot, I'm just gonna secure it. Just a simple, as if you're about to tie your shoe, just a simple, simple hold. Then from there, with the little bit of slack that you have, I'm gonna give it about four to five twists. Since this is 60 pound, it is a little bit thicker of a line. I'm gonna do my four to five twists, go under the loop I made, just like that. And then back out through the hole that I created as I went through. And just like that, give it a little bit of saliva. Then you can pull the main line. Your knot's right in there. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the tag line. I am gonna leave a little bit on and I'm gonna show you why. I know you couldn't see the knot very well, but it is it is a clinch knot. You could Google that, YouTube that. It's a simple knot. It's one of the more, most basic knots that there is. So you could Google that and then you could come back right here. So like I said, I'm gonna cut off a little bit of the tag end. Just a little bit. If you can, get some sharp scissors because this is 60 pound line. And just like that, there's a knot complete. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna wrap around the main knot, just as an extra measure of security. Most people use electrical tape when they're tying braid. This is mono but I am gonna use a little bit of electrical tape anyway as an extra security. Cut the tag. There. there you go. This does, go, does give it a little bit of extra grip. You can see, I tied my main knot right there. The tag end did stick out a little bit so it did get caught on the tape. Then the next thing you're gonna do from here is just reel it in. Here, if you have a some tough gloves or a rag or something or if you have a friend who can help out i don't like i said i have my line on the cardboard box i am going to be using a rag to put tension on my line as you reel up as you spool up what you don't want is you don't want any slack in the reel because if you do once you're fishing if you get to that specific part where you have slack you can lose a fish they can get extra line on you and they can get unhooked and it's, you don't want any bad situations to happen so we want to keep it as tight as possible. I'm just going to wrap a rag around the main line at an angle just like that. Then all you're going to do from here is 
reel it up just like that So after I finished reeling in, I made it all the way to the top as much as the spool could take in. You can still see a little bit of the, the, the third line, which is the max fill line for the spool. So that's as much as I'm going to fill it up. As you can see, here's my reel, all spooled up, nice. There you go, there's the end. And that should be it, there you go. Thank you guys very much really appreciate it if you found if you found it helpful please leave like subscribe comment thank you very much peace